Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a cold weather range test on the Tesla Model Y. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to do two trips. The first trip is going to be on a stone cold battery. Right now it's about minus one degree Celsius. That's about 32 Fahrenheit, 31 Fahrenheit, somewhere in that neighborhood. So the first test is going to be on that stone cold battery. The next test is going to be um, on a warm battery and then we'll compare them. And also I'm gonna compare it to uh, my Model 3, I guess my old Model 3 that I traded in, uh, just to give you an idea of what those differences might be if you're thinking of trading uh, up to a Model Y. Let's get started. Right now I've got the, uh, the AC off, but I will turn that on in a second. Um, I've reset the trip odometer and uh, I've got the consumption graphed up here. The rated range for the Model Y in, um, in metric is, for the 2021 Model Y, is 168 watt hour kilometer. I'll have to convert that to uh, Imperial when I produce the video. So as you can see right now, um, the consumption graph <laughs> I just got to turn on to the road here. Let me turn on uh, the AC. I'm going to keep it on auto uh, just for, you know, the sake of what people might normally do. And uh, let me see here. I'm going to change this to 25 kilometers just to give us a different scale, better scale to gauge the consumption. Actually, go here. <laughs> this will show you that our start here is obviously going to be at a higher consumption level. Now, the Model Y, as everybody knows, has a heat pump, and I'm coming from a Model 3, which, I, as you know, if you watch my channel, I traded in. So, it'll be interesting to see what the impact of the heat pump is on the uh, efficiency in colder weather. You can see right now that we are minus one degree Celsius approximately 32 Fahrenheit and we're going to do a 30 kilometer loop and uh, see what the efficiency was and then we are going to do it again on a warm battery to see what the efficiency uh, is with a warm battery. So that's kind of the method to the madness uh, in terms of the test approach and uh, I'm going to try to keep it on autopilot for as much of the trip as I can. I'm going to have it set for approximately 10% over the speed limit, just to mimic real world kind of um, driving. So I'm not gonna try to be miserly on the efficient, uh, efficiency. So I'm going to drive as most people normally would. So, uh, you know, not treating it with kid gloves. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drive it like I was uh, commuting. So I will chime in periodically if, something interesting happens or I want to point something out. Otherwise, what I'll do is uh, I'll set the footage to a little bit of music and uh, I'll do the chapters. So if you don't want to bother with that and you just want to get right to the, the details, you'll be able to do that. Just a quick comment on the climate. Uh, a lot of people asked me whether or not the heat pump uh, pushes as much heat out as the Model 3 heater and yes I mean within moments of, of turning on the climate control uh, the, the heat I'm actually gonna have to turn it down a little bit because it's baking my eyeballs um, so yeah the heat pump is pushing out a, a good amount of heat Quick update on how we're doing so far. So you can see over the last uh, 10 kilometers, averaging about 240 watt hour kilometer. Again, rated range is 168. The battery, as I mentioned, was uh, cold. I had the car sitting out for a couple hours. Uh, right now, it is minus two degrees Celsius. And this is kind of to be expected, um, heat pump or not, in the first you know, 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers, a uh, stone cold battery, we're gonna see some uh, heavy use of the energy. And my expectation is that, is that it's gonna taper off um, 
and I'm hoping to get somewhere relatively close to rated range, so we'll see. We are just over 10 kilometers, about seven miles into our journey, and we can see that the the energy consumption is starting to decrease. We're going a little bit downhill right now, so that's why you see this uh, big decrease in energy consumption. Over the 30 kilometer route that I'm going to use here, there's a good uh, combination of uphill and downhill. So it should even out, is my expectation. Doing an auto lane change here. I'm gonna try to maintain 110 kilometers hour on the freeway part of this test. I'm going to get out from behind this uh, truck, even though I'm going to be exiting shortly. It just Right now we're kind of drafting and that's not going to be good for our test uh, unless you normally like to draft behind trucks. <laughs> I'm going to change the view to the 25 kilometer view just to give some more detail in terms of the length of the trip that we've been on. Looks like this is going to be more of a, probably closer to 40, maybe even a 50 kilometer a loop. I guess um, I'm not that great at estimating distances. Just want to mention that there is definitely a headwind that I am into now. The whole purpose of doing a loop though is to even that out so the wind would have been behind uh, the car on the first half of this loop. Uh, so and again the, the ups and downs, the hills, I think everything is going to even out to a really great test on this particular route. So far we are averaging after 30 kilometers 179 watt hour kilometer. That's just slightly over the rated uh, range which is 168 watt hour kilometer for the 2021 Model Y. Really? <laughs> there is no traffic light here. There's no traffic light here. <laughs> okay, that was really weird. Um, there's a glitch in the matrix, as the saying goes. And that concludes those 50.6 kilometers, a lot longer than originally I thought it would be. But that's great. It just makes for a better test. And uh, we completed with 195 watt-hour kilometer and rated range is uh, 168 watt-hour kilometer. We used 10 kilowatt-hour of uh, energy. So let me see if um, I'm going to open up my um, Tesla app. And let's see if it recorded... The efficiency of that trip okay so uh, here's uh, the results uh, looks like it was a 72% efficiency which at minus two actually the average was minus one according to the app um, minus two according to the car but anyhow that's splitting hairs I do think that um, anecdotally this is better than the model 3 um, 
just based on my experience, I mean, I drove the Model 3 for many, many winters. So uh, with a stone cold battery, a 50 kilometer trip, an efficiency of 72%, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's uh, better performance than the Model 3. Now I need to find somebody uh, <laughs> with a Model 3 to run this test again so we can actually do uh, a head to head comparison. But that's, um, that's pretty good for a stone cold battery. I'm going to start the second phase of this test and we're going to do it on a warm battery to see if the efficiency uh, increases from 72%.